guys this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Havoc OS this is the 30 July 2019 build of this like device and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how is the ROM and how did I flash it well if you want to know about the flashing procedure I made a detailed video like flashing any ROM which you will find in the cards right here and you can follow that video and flash this rom pretty easily and by the way if you do not know you need to have decrypted storage to flash this rom what does that mean well if your twrp asks password or something like that and if you enter screen pin or like password on the twrp recovery you have to format your storage to flash this rom so just follow that video you will get to know everything and let me show you the about section quickly over here if you go into the android version as you can see android version shows as 9 july 5th 2019 latest security patch and the stock kernel is the beast kernel over here and havoc version is havoc 2.7 and here's the build date 30 july 2019 again and official for violet or redmi note 7 pro and over here we still have plethora of customizations and inside havoc settings you will find all of them and if you want to know which launcher we have by default over here this is the launcher launcher let me just quickly like show you the settings panel over here if you go into home screen settings as you can see this is the launcher launcher by default present over here so if you go into gestures we do have double tap to sleep so double tap to sleep anywhere does work super fine over here and as you can see here is the fingerprint scanner speed i'm just unlocking the phone with the fingerprint scanner and you can like guess the fingerprint scanner speed it is a tad bit slower with the resurrection remix if you compare to the left we have the google now cards you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings or like notification panel and double tap to sleep again is there and over here we have like the widgets and stuff everything is working and you can pull the like app drawer just by swiping up as you can see and i have a bunch of apps installed over here and this rom i would say is quite fluid and no issues i could find over here while daily driving and the battery life seems to be really good and you can pretty much get seven to eight hours of screen on time without any issues regarding the battery life over here in this rom and there is the like weird snapdragon camera by default over here present so i did install anx camera well to install this anx camera you just have to flash the 130 anx camera zip then the second thing you're gonna flash is the 48 megapixel fix after that the portrait mode and stuff everything will be working fine for you with the ANX or MIUI camera port and you can also install google cameras if you want to as you can see because camera to api is pre-enabled on this rom and over here one disappointing thing is that like banking apps the google pay and stuff everything is not working as you can see the banking apps are simply not working it says sorry google pay can't be set up or something like that because like you have to disable the phone and sms app permission from the google play services then only you can set up your google pay so that is a one bummer but yeah and over here the customizations are like insane if you go into havoc settings you will find these many options of the customizations one really cool thing about this is the like animation charging animation looks really good as you can see from the screen the charging animation looks really dope which is not present in most roms this is the pixel like animation i feel this is a pretty good implementation and inside status bar we have the double tap to sleep brightness control and stuff like that vault icon etc and as you can see you can control the brightness by just swiping on the status bar this is a really cool feature i would say and i really use it while my daily driving we have clock and date customization from here you can choose am pm style font size and stuff like lot of customizations with everything quick pull down smart pull down etc are there we have the android q style battery logo or like dotted if you want to like dotted circle text etc are there battery percentage is there so you don't need to worry about the like percentage showing up or something like that but by default this screen padding you need to adjust because the like icons will be to the corners and we have the network traffic indicator custom logo status bar icons headset bluetooth etc icon you can find from here and we have the 4g icon too instead of lte etc and if you go to interface we have the ui style changing option to pixel or aosp you can change the background color to light dark shady glassy and of course we have the accent colors which are the material palette and user requested colors and over here we have a lot of fonts as you can see this fonts panel are insane and by default you get google sans font over here you can change the fonts to like whatever you want you can have this quick setting header style like to the accent best so that this top part becomes on your accent color 
and over here you can change the quick setting toggle styles to ok sign ink drop etc options are there so that you can change this whole quick setting toggle styles let me go back we also had the switch appearance and stuff and inside quick settings we have the column and row number customization brightness slider position you can change it and tile title etc are there so a lot of things are everywhere if you go into screen as you can see i have adjusted the status bar padding if you go into the ambient display we have the like normal ambient display stuff and we of course have the always on display if you need that inside buttons we have the power menu customization so here we get the advanced reboot and stuff you can enable it from here in the lock screen as well as in the like normal but one thing that is really disappointing is the screen of power button torch even though this is set to long press power button to toggle torch let me show you that it does not simply work for me as you can see i'm holding the power button but the torch simply does not toggle so yeah this is one bug that i have found in this havoc os but yeah otherwise this rom is fine inside navigation bar we have the normal like navigation bar settings and you can change the layout to like inverted or swap the buttons so that the back button becomes to the right side and you can change the height and stuff and then pulse we have for the navigation panel and inside gestures we have this swipe to take screenshot this works super fine no issues whatsoever and of course we also have the one plus gestures edge gestures so this navigation edge gestures are working fine too over here so you don't need to worry about the full screen navigation gestures over here inside lock screen we have the double tap to sleep then we have the weather and stuff then temperature unit and one good thing over here which i like this force fingerprint authentication works super fine on this rom because i'm on the decrypted storage so it does not matter for this to work so it works flawlessly over here this was not the case with the resurrection remix rom when you were encrypted on the twrp recovery so yeah this is one good thing while like being on the decrypted side so yeah charging info is there and this is the charging animation which is present over here let me just go back inside recents we have the recent style changing option to quick step stock grid android go and slim lot of options then we have the notification option so charging led and stuff is there blink flashlight on call is there you can disable heads up from here and vibrate on collect or like in call vibration stuff are there inside animation we have the whole screen animation changing option you can change whatever animation you want now let's go into misc over here we have the usb configuration setting option you can set it to file transfer by default and you can disable wake up on charge and stuff like that we also have the gaming mode over here so that is really cool and let me just go back now let me quickly show you the like display settings and stuff let me go into the display settings we have the night light and color settings over here if you feel the colors are weird you can change it double tap to wake is there and it works if you go into the sound settings let me show you that we do have the mi audio enhancer but i tried it i could not find any kind of like huge improvements with this mi audio direct here i don't know why even though i was using the like headphone jack and stuff with my headphones it was like pretty normal do not worry the sound quality is not bad now if you have flashed this from with micro g apps you will get the face auto unlock or face recognition stuff inside smart lock and you can set it up of course face unlock is there is the customizations now let me just quickly open some apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management over here i'm opening all the apps from memory again As you can see all the apps are in memory so no issues whatsoever regarding the memory management over here even though i have a 4gb ram variant of the redmi note 7 pro here and inside system if we go into the system updates of course you can check for updates from here this is a official rom that's why and if you tap on the volume button as you can see over here this is how you can expand your volume panel and you get the media notification and alarm volume over here and you can put the phone into general vibrate or totally silent from this toggle of course and in terms of the power menu we do have advanced reboot over here so that you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot or like whatever you want so you can pretty much like daily drive with this rom this is pretty fast and fluid experience i would say and you can definitely try this rom if you want to flash the havoc os on your redmi note 7 pro i would say you are good to go if you don't need the banking apps to be working right out of the box if you know how to tweak and get it to work 
then you are fine otherwise the rom is really really fluid there are a lot of customizations the battery life should be pretty decent and you can play on ultra like the smooth and ultra settings pubg over here and here is the android score of this rom thank you so much for watching guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tiro from kdn tech signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now